You thought snakes on a plane was scary? Well, wait till you watch this. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. A lot of stuff dropping on the platform this weekend. Today we are talking Blood Red Sky, a brand new movie that just dropped. And today we're going to be talking about this film. No spoilers except for one plot point that is mentioned in the trailer and on the poster. Now, if you want to know nothing about this movie beyond it being on a plane, uh, then maybe come back after you've seen it. But I will be talking about that one plot point. Let's get into it. So a woman with a mysterious illness is forced into action when a group of terrorists attempts to hijack a transatlantic overnight flight. In order to protect her son, she will have to reveal a dark secret. And wait for it. Unleash the vampire within that she fought to hide. That's right. We have vampires on the plane, not snakes, vampires. And this movie is as intense as any movie I've watched this year. Now, in terms of the overall execution and what they could have done with this story, I mean, it's a fascinating combination of different elements. You have the terrorists on the plane mixed with the fact that they just so happen to show up while there's also a vampire on the plane. So that creates for some conflict there. And it comes together in a way that, at points in the film, it is, like I said, intense. It is keeping you on the edge of your seat. And there are some of the more fun moments I've seen on Netflix all year in this movie. Now, the overall execution here, I believe, could have and should have been just a bit better. There are points where the film just started to lose my interest, not because I wasn't having fun with it, but more so because the execution just wasn't all there. And it does feel like a bit of a missed opportunity because conceptually, again, this is great. I, I do want to give kudos, though, and I don't often do this in reviews. I want to give kudos to the person, whether it be the screenwriter, the director, the person that came up with this idea and the fact that they managed to make this into a movie because it's just original. Sure, it's taking elements from other films that we have seen before, absolutely, but it's bringing it together in such a way that just feels fresh, and even if it doesn't quite nail it at the end of the day, there are so many things to respect about this, and I'm looking on Letterboxd, I'm seeing people grill on the movie, and understandably so, right? It has its fair share of issues, but they're combining some really cool things here, and it all does come down to the fact that it is a coincidence. It's two completely separate things happening here, and this boy whom we start out at at the beginning of the movie, it does that thing that we often see in films where we start out with him at the end and then we go back and see the journey progress and how he got there in the first place and that didn't bother me too much uh, but it's more so the relationship with his mother and how all of that comes together to affect you emotionally so when you start to see this transformation happen and this intensity is escalating not only when they kind of take everyone hostage on the plane and of course people are terrified you're kind of terrified for everyone on that plane but then we get that reveal that the film does I guess slightly try to hide but again all of the marketing is showing it so I felt like it was something I just had to include in this review but once we see that and once we get that progression with her and her little storyline her son and what's happening with him and a relationship that he forms and then the fact that the terrorists are smart enough to kind of put the blame on someone else's or a group of other people's shoulders and how they are trying to overcome that because when everything starts to hit the fan they're the ones that are going to take the blame. So again, a lot happening, especially in that first act. I wish the film would have kept that going into the second act because the second act of the movie did start to become dull for me. Everything calms down. This is the moment that we're supposed to build with our characters and we don't quite do that. And it was just kind of like, okay, when's everything going to go crazy? Then when it goes crazy, it was fun. But there were various points in the movie where I sat back and said, I don't know if the execution is all there, especially when you look at the premise. But the movie never becomes jumbled with so many concepts. It's just a lot going on until there is not a lot going on, and that's when everything starts to slow down. So before I give you guys my score and tell you my overall thoughts, thank you so much for watching. If you like this Netflix review, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. While the story itself brings nothing new to the genre, it definitely features the intensity necessary to keep viewers on the edge of their seats. I'm going a 60%, slightly fresh with my score. Again, it's just one of those movies that I kind of appreciate. What was the film a couple years ago? Overlord. The creativity reminded me of that. It's not as good as Overlord, but it's creative. And it's also a German film, so let me know what is your favorite German show or movie on Netflix, and stay tuned. More reviews today. All right, see you guys.